Welcome back everybody to another redstone video. It's a uh, random ginger here and today what I've got for you is a way um, to take things from your mine so like any ores, coal, cobblestone, anything like that they might get from a mining trip and process them straight into ingots and stone and uh, whatever else like if you if you use silk touch and you get diamonds or redstone, you can put those in here too, and those will give you um, whatever they usually give you. And then also, you can weed out all the bad stuff. Not bad, just the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't need to be smelted that you might accidentally put in, like a card or something like that. And I just put the sponge block here because that was a pretty random block. Uh, hey, random ginger, random block, nice. Um, okay, so first, let me show you how this works. Um, I'll take, here, I'll get some gold ore also. Oopsies. Go like this, and what I find is, um, because th there's a hopper drawn inside of the chest, so whatever's first here, the other things won't start getting sucked until this entire stack is gone. So what I usually find is best is to put just a few of each in first, and then, and then go and put in stacks of everything else. So once all that's in, then we'll put stacks of everything else in. Right, so that just gets everything going. And now, where the items go is um, right here. This is th this first of all, right here, right here, and right here are identical. This one's just flipped uh, backwards, so the red zone doesn't interfere. But this was discovered or created by Seth Blink, so I'm stealing his idea here a little bit, just modifying it. Um, and it's a sorting mechanism. So, oh, there's one. Is that stuck in there? Okay, well, I'm not sure. That looks good. Okay, so, um, oh, and this one over here, too, I guess. Right here, this is where all the items are getting sorted out. This is the gold. This is the, that's the cobblestone. And this is the coal. And as you can see, once, uh, you need to have 17 plus 4, so 21, um, in there. And that'll prevent anything else from going through. Um, and let me... Let's see. Where should I explain this? Um, okay, well, we'll just do this one right here. First of all, these glass blocks, they don't actually need to be there. They're just there so I don't bump this cart. Oh. Oh, there's just more. Now the iron's getting pulled out again. So as you can see right there, um, when items... So items will get pulled out of this chest, and they'll attempt to move down this line. Um, but if there's a hopper beneath them, the hopper beneath gets priority first. So, what happens is the items get put into this hopper, and then it says, oh, I want to move down this, but first, I should check this hopper to see if I can move down there. And since this is already filled with iron, the only thing that will go through here is iron ore. So if it's iron ore, it goes down. If not, it keeps moving along. And then, say it's gold ore, it'll go down. Cobblestone, coal. So that's how you sort all the items out. And then any miscellaneous stuff will not fit into any of these four hoppers. It'll just keep on going down here, go into this string of hoppers, and just flow down into our miscellaneous chest. But for the but for when something does get sorted out, so there'll be iron in here. And since there's 21 items, and when you hook a uh, comparator going out of a hopper like this, when you hook it up, see this comparator is pointing out. Depending on how many items are in the hopper, the comparator will send out a certain signal strength. Um, so what this is, is um, with 21, uh, yeah, it's 21, yeah, with 21, it'll send out a signal strength of 1. But when you get up to uh, a little bit above that, what, so once items start flowing through here, then it will up the signal strength, and that'll send a signal down to this redstone, which will then power this repeater, which sends the signal onto this piston, and this piston will push this uh, chest card up, and the chest cart will then start sucking items out of here. And then once the items run out and, now, and then it gets back to only being 21 blocks in here, then this signal will shorten back up, the piston will retract, and the chest car will go down onto this hopper, which then, actually I'm going to stop this minecart real quick, uh, which will then pull the items out of the minecart. Just This is just another hopper, send it down and they'll go into the furnace and as you can see now they're being smelted and the coal that's in there I didn't put that in there this was empty before I started the video that coal is actually from the coal 
that uh, we put in. So it got sorted out right here, and I'll show you how that works too. Um, and then, so these other two, the uh, cobble and the gold, work the exact same as the copper, or not the copper, the iron. Um, so I'm just going to block that up. I guess I should show you how to get this minecart on here. It's very important that the minecart is in between the piston and the hopper. So that when it gets pushed up, it'll suck items out of this right here. But when it falls down, it will also give items into this hopper. And since these hoppers aren't vertically aligned, uh, it's got to be right in between. So the way you do that is you will just take let's see any regular block and you'll take a rail. Oopsies. You'll just put the block on there. I guess I need a minecart also. And then you put the rail on, put the minecart on, and then just go right here and just barely bump it. See, I just barely touched it. Destroy this, and you can collect that if you want. But now don't touch the minecart. It's in a perfect position. And it'll probably straighten out eventually like the other ones are. But it starts out like this. Oopsies. And that's it. That will now do the job. Let's set the time. And like I said, these other two are the exact same as the iron. It's just that this gold one is flipped. I think that's gold, right? Yeah, the gold one is flipped. So that the redstone right... Where is it? The redstone right here doesn't interfere with anything. And the reason they're actually spaced one apart is since there's redstone right here, if they were right next to each other, this redstone would then interact with this hopper right here and when hopper gets powered by when hopper gets powered by redstone it um, stops sending items out so you can see this minecart just evened out a little bit um, okay so now I'll explain how the coal works the sorting mechanism is exactly the same there's this uh, there's a signal strength thing right here and then the piston pushes it up minecart takes the items puts them into this hopper but now what happens as you can see, I had this. Uh, I need a, I need a uh, lever. As you can see, this minecart. I just had it constantly going, and I. You can you can uh, hook up a lever maybe if you want to. If you don't want it constantly going, um, that you you can just bring around to like here or something and flip the lever when you're about to start so that the minecart will start going. But I just have it going all the time because, I mean, really, you can you can hardly even hear it. it doesn't really bother me. Maybe it bothers you though. But this minecart will send them into this hopper, and when this hopper has is getting items or has items in it, then that will again power this repeater, which will power this or power this um, comparator, my bad, um, which will then power this repeater, and the repeater will power this redstone dust, which will turn off this torch, um, and then this line will turn off, which will turn off this powered track, so you can see. If this line goes off, the track turns off, and then the minecart will go here and it will stay and wait until all the items have gotten taken out of the hopper. And then uh, once all the items are drained into the chest cart, then the hopper will stop emitting a signal and this will turn back on. And just like that, the minecart will start going again. And now this minecart is completely filled with coal. And the problem, like the reason you can't just have it stop at this first one, drain it, and then move on is because it will stop at this first one and it will drain, say you only put a stack in, it will drain the entire stack into this furnace. But we don't want that. We want it distributed amongst these three furnaces. So like this, as it goes across, every time it passes over the hopper, just for the slightest moment, it'll deposit one or two in. And the result of that is you get it pretty evenly distributed. So there's 21, 13, I guess not super even but 12. So the last one just ended up getting a little bit more here. That's just luck of the draw. That's just how it turned out. But it'll be different sometimes. Each, each one of them will have more. Um, and then, so that's how the furnaces get all their items. And then out of each furnace, uh, the way to get the items out is very simple. Just put a hopper on the bottom of the furnace. And I'll explain this about hoppers. See how this nozzle is pointing to this hopper right here? That means that when items come into this hopper, they will go in the direction that the little nozzle is facing. So if I were to just go like that, it would point straight down and the items would have nowhere to go. But since it's pointing into the other hopper, it'll go this way. 
So then all that's doing is pulling the iron out of there, and we'll see it go through this hopper momentarily. So it pulled the item out of this slot, put it into the hopper, and moved down the chain, and into the chest. So now we can look here. You can see that all of our stuff is in there. And I can just put, I'll put a couple miscellaneous items in there just to uh, do whatever. So those will go down. We'll see them flow through here. Maybe they already went through. And maybe they're taking forever. Yeah, they must have already gone through. Wow, that was really fast. And we'll see them there. Yep. So that's, uh, that's how that works. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build this little mechanism right here. I'll just build one of these cross sections. And I will also build for you uh, this little thing that gets the minecart going. So first, let's get my blocks that I'm going to want. Uh, that'll be good. And you can see that there is, there's a distance between this chest where you put the items in and these chests down here. So I don't know if you're going to want to maybe have all of these hoppers go into one minecart and have that minecart come back up to this level um, or if you're fine just having um, the deposit box chest and the other chest at different levels but that'll just be personal preference but let's uh, let's get started so you want to start off semi high in the air or I guess I mean I'm in creative so it's high in the air for me but maybe it'll just be even with the ground in your survival world because this is I mean you could do this in survival pretty pretty easily it wouldn't be that tough um, okay so first we gotta have a chest right there and then you wanna have a hopper coming out of the chest and normally you would want a string of hoppers like this pointing that direction or the other direction if you decide to flip it um, but I'm just gonna do one right now so we'll leave those hoppers there but we're not gonna use them so then this will get pulled out of there and let's do, what should we do here? We will do um, diamond or just because diamonds are everyone's favorite, right? So now we're going to go here and we're going to fill this with 21 diamonds. So 17, and you want to have every slot filled up. You can't just do 21 in a stack because then other items will come into these other slots. So you want it to be completely filled up um, like that. And then this will go down. We need a piston actually. You'll leave a space. Man, I'm going to need to get a lot of stuff out of my inventory. You'll leave a space right here. But then, right here, you want to, oh, not a sticky piston. I'm sorry. You want a regular piston. You want a piston like that. I'm just making sure I'm doing all this right. Oh, wait, is that actually not right? Oh, no, that's not right. You want to go like this have the piston. So you'll have a two block space between this hopper and the piston. <clears throat> and then there's a hopper right here. And then there would be like a furnace or something below this. Or as you can see I had another hopper than a furnace. Um, so now out of this hopper we want to go like this, two over, one in between, and then like that. You're going to want to put a comparator pointing out of there. One redstone, two redstone, repeater pointing out of there, and one more redstone. And that's all there is to that. Now we got to put the mine card on there. Let's put the track just like I showed you before. Just inch it forward. There we go. And that looks beautiful. Um, and that is all there is to that sorting mechanism. So then what you would do for the next one is you would just um, have another hopper coming right here and you would do the entire thing but flipped. So you'd have uh, two blocks, oopsies, ah, got to have shift and space at the same time. I'm not that talented. So you'd want to do it like this and then have a hopper on, crap on this side and you would just flip everything so that's how that works and you can see if I put some diamond in well I guess I didn't put enough diamond ore in or something um, but there we go now we're just going into the minecart 
and then it retracts. Beautiful. And it is going into the hopper. I think I put 32 in. Yep. Awesome. So that works perfectly. So now, uh, just right on off of this one, we will build the little mechanism for getting the card going. So all this is, is right off of this hopper, you are going to want to have a comparator coming out. So a comparator like this. Hopefully I can do this by memory. I didn't actually memorize all this. Right off of the comparator, a repeater to strengthen the signal. Oh, darn it. Did I bump that chest? Or that cart? I'm going to put glass blocks here. Just in case, because I am a very clumsy man. What the heck? I right clicked. Oh, the card is blocking me just ever so slightly. Might have to redo that card. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo that card. That's no big deal. That doesn't take very long at all. It takes two seconds. Right there, right there. Oh, uh, that might have been too too strong actually. Too strong again, wow. Dang it. There we go. And, oh, I see why. Okay, so. Crap. I just got a lag. I'm getting lag. All right, lag problem fixed. Um, there we go. And now, since I had the minecart next to this hopper, we're just going to have to refill that on back up. On back up. That was a bad sentence. What was that? Um, let's see, 17, 17 and that. there we go, beautiful, let's pick all this junk up, we don't want none of that, <clears throat> okay, back to this, you're going to want to go like that, and then take redstone and redstone torch, darn it, and redstone, redstone torch, beneath that torch, blocks like this so that torch will interact with this redstone right here and then that goes to let's see block like that minecart on there actually that'll that'll be a powered rail right there oh that's not a powered rail there it is we don't need chest and this is just our this is just our track right here. We'll just put another power rail because we can. And power that. So that power rail, powered rail is like this powered rail right there. So now we will put a minecart on there. Put that there. And let's dump some more diamonds into the chest. We'll just do eleven this time. Hopefully that works. Perfect. And this minecart is not go. Oh, gotta have a block right here. Oh, that might actually work fine. Um, it didn't start. Well, that's weird. It should. Oh, because there's no block here. Okay. So you gotta have a block there too, right up behind that power rail. And then right here, this is where like over here. You can see where this is. There's hoppers beneath here. So this would go around to the different hoppers. And destroyed. So that's all there is to it, you guys. Um, as you can see, it looks kind of complicated. It's really not very simple um, when you get down to it. And we've got all of our junk here. Collect this on up. And you could have this all flow into one chest if you didn't want to have it nice and sorted. But I like it sorted. It's just the kind of guy I am. Um, well, yeah, that uh, I think that just about does it. And if you need to see anything else, um, I'll just go around real quick and uh, I'll, I'll get some nice, get some nice shots. So you can pause it at any time during the video if you want to see more. Do -do 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 -do. You can just bask in the glory, bask in the glory. Nah, this is a lot of Seth Bling's idea. I gotta give him a lot of credit. Um, and also, my friend Ben, Depletion Gaming, is his channel if you want to check him out. He made a video really recently on something pretty similar to this, on how the cart will kind of go up here, stop, get all the items, and then keep going. 
Um, so you can go check out his video on that. He used it a little bit differently. He used it for a mob drop system, actually. And I will link to that in the video description if you guys want to go check that out. But for now, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. This video was great to make. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it was informative, and you guys will use this in your old world or in your own world. Um, so yeah, just be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, anything. Um, give me feedback. If you think there's a better way to do it, for sure, let me know. Leave a video response. Uh, if you do make another video, yeah, give me a video response to this one, and I'll be sure to check it out. I love seeing when people take ideas that I have and just run with them. Uh, do things that I never even thought were possible. So, yeah, be sure to comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. If you did like the video, it helps me out. And until next time, everybody, just have a great day.